here we are. We're in the in the middle of uh, a city that's 465 square miles. Uh, the official population is seven, eight million people. Um, all together, they're really around 11 or 12 million people here. Those diverse cultures, those diverse people, so many people coming here to chase their dreams, you know, to get ahead, to make something of themselves. Anytime you have that much conflict coming together, it's, it's an enormous canvas for someone who writes about the types of things that I, I write about. You know, the, the new book is titled Chasing Darkness. I grew up in South Louisiana. Um, it's totally unlike this in Louisiana everything is flat and we lived at the backside of a drive-in movie theater and I think that probably had a lot to do with with my love of storytelling and, and, and what I want to bring to my work uh, there is there are no films uh, more insane and gonzo than the movies that show on a southern drive-in circuit and I listen to that every night for uh, throughout my childhood The new book, Chasing Darkness, opens in fire season. The horror of fire is, is that it cleans out the old and it, and it uncovers things. Uh, that's what happens at the beginning of, of, of Chasing Darkness. And um, it is a nightmare for Elvis Cole. Elvis came about when my father died in 1985. As I've always done, I use my writing as sort of self-therapy to figure out things. Um, I like to say I was given a little Calvin and Hobbes transmogrifier when I was born and I took that situation and my fears and whatnot and I stuffed it in the transmogrifier and out popped this character named Elvis Cole. Well, Elvis Cole is a, a kid from nowhere with a spotty background, uh, did his military service, did not go to college. Uh, and he's made a life for himself. You know, books are very, very personal art form. Um, they're a collaborative art form unlike any other. When you look at the book, it, 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 it actually is not a completed piece of art. Uh, the art isn't completed until a reader reads it.